I see the grim. Hello, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Christmas week. I'm not that excited. No, I am excited. I am excited for one reason. I have no fucking clue what my boyfriend has got me for Christmas. And he's made, and he had to go far away to get it. And he's apparently filming like a little vlog for me. And it's apparently even a big box. I have no idea. No idea, but it's Christmas week and I'm so ready to switch off now. I don't know why. I feel, I was, I'm literally, I'm just, I'm, <sighs> I've been struggling. My brain has been not happy the last few weeks and um, I'm just done and I'm so ready to be done. I have one sponsored job to film today and it's the last one of the year and I'm going to buy some props to film to use in it. Uh, it's actually quite a fun one to be honest. I got to sing. I got to sing. I am so ready for a break now and it, I feel like a complete ass for saying it because when it comes to talking about being tired and exhausted there's always going to be someone that says that they're more tired and they're more exhausted because they do more or they've got children or they work longer hours or harder, have harder work to do. There's always someone that has always got it worse off than you. And I think that when we, in the world that we live in, where unless you work yourself to the fucking bone or you have no sleep, you're, I almost feel like you're not allowed to be tired or even talk about being tired. Yeah, you're right. I mean. I don't have children, I don't work ridiculously long hours and under loads and loads and loads of stress, I'm not, but, oh, Danny, Danny's ringing me, what you want? Yo, my bitch! Yeah, I, I just drove past you, Yeah. and um, the only reason I tweaked it was you at the start, was like, fuck it out, what's that quite orange thing? Glenn, my crab! Yeah. He is luminescent in the gloomy day. He is! <laughs> I discovered that I had ADHD and um, what that means and it all makes sense now and I think my exhaustion just comes from a place of mental exhaustion, of thinking of everything all the time and getting myself stressed about things and worrying about things and I think it does after a while take its toll and I think I am just ready to switch off. I feel ready to switch off and take a few, couple of weeks off to not have to think about anything other than what video game should I play today? What movie should we watch on? Watch, how how much cheese is an excess, acceptable amount of cheese to consume today? That's all I want. And I think that once I've had that for myself, I'll be ready raring and ready to go again i just think like yeah so i have no shame in telling you that i'm exhausted and i'm really tired even though i don't have children and like a crazy physically demanding or long hours job because guess what it's not a comparison game everybody has different levels of things all right so if you're in the same boat as me and you're ashamed or embarrassed to admit that you're tired and need a break fuck everyone else right anyway i've just arrived at boots i need to get some new more tan maybe i'll find everything i need in here actually i probably will i've got the goods i got the goods ornaments slow cooker chili for tea tonight then it's done isn't it so i normally get the frozen stuff but for some reason i've got the not frozen stuff which i've never really Oh, here we go. Um, my chopper. Yeah. Tin tomatoes, kidney beans, concani seasoning, which is mild, only mild in this house. Mmm. Goes in there. Give it a little stir. Um, I'm just making some lunch. I filmed the thing that I need to film. Look what I got from, from Boots though. I got some star face. Oh, I'm just 
always getting spots on my chin. It's the fucking hormones, man. Star face. I don't know if they work, but they look cool. It's better than bright, bloody red. I think that's a cool. Yeah. A floofer for your back. Um, a Nivea watermelon shine, classy eco. Um, and some more fake tan because I've run out. I've got a dark one. I was finding it just ain't not dark enough. I still look pale. I got a dark. And I also got a Bondi Sands One Hour Express. They didn't have any Sandra Pay Express. No one has seen to have it in stock at the minute. I tried getting it online, but they don't have any. And then I just got a face mist. Sandra Pay face mist so I can keep my face looking colourful. And then I got a, I got a new Pixie Glow Tonic. My face just doesn't feel, it is clean. I wash it all the time. Give it a nice good cleanse, but I just want to exfoliate it every day. There's something that makes it feel so clean about using an exfoliating tonic. Uh, a big grip, because I've got a lot of hair. And then a NYX gloss and liner. Put it on later. Make some lunch new. This is the lunch situ. So yesterday I batch cooked some chicken in Nando's rub. And then I also made this big like salsa thing. Well, that's tomato, cucumber and red onion. Then I just got a bag of lettuce. And then so what I'm gonna do, stuff a pitta with it. Like a little, little sandwich counter here. Cause it's easy to do and it's already ready for me. This is my lunch, Yen, then. Look at that. It's a really good, easy lunch to, to get you through. It's all pre-made. And my little bag of quavers, because quavers are king. I'm going to go sit in here and eat it. going to make myself a coffee now with the new coffee machine. So if you like syrups in your coffee, I've, I got these from Sweet Freedom. And they are sugar-free syrups. They're just made from, like, natural natural sugars i have all of their like syrups for porridge and stuff i mentioned in, in last week's vlog uh, but they, they do a barista set now range now i love i'm gonna have a caramel but yeah it's made from um apple and carob natural fruit extracts um so it's like naturally occurring sugars <laughs> Five mil of this in here. Hey, you're trying to do latte art. <laughs> what do you see, Potter? I see death. I see the grim. I'm gonna go get ready now. This face is gonna change for the better. No, no. It's not, it's going to change, not for the better, because this face is fine. It's going to change for a different kind of version of me, because this is also me, and this is fucking okay. And just like that, I'm ready. I got my first pair of prescription sunglasses. My, my spec savers family, because I'm an ambassador, sent me a pair of prescription sunglasses. I've never had prescription sunglasses. This is crazy. They're good, they're like my Ray-Bans though. How cool are they? I look like I need them. Because it's bloody dark. Anyway, I'm going to go pack orders. So, I've got this crab on my dashboard called Glenn, right? Glenn, 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 Glenn. It says Norfolk on him. He's my Norfolk crab. I got him in Hunstanton. Look at him. Look at him. My friend Marika. Like died when she saw him. She was she just thought he looked so funny, and she just kept taking pictures of his little smiley, his, his smiley face. Anyway, I was in Hunstanton the other day, and on all on its own was another Glen. <laughs> I've already sent a Christmas present to her and a card with an illustration of a situation that we were in in Austin together. But I had to. I was picking up. I was buying him that shop. I was in QD in Hunstanton and I was buying a ball for Lola, that's it, to take on the beach. I saw him and I went, I've got to get him for Marika. So I got Glenn, her own Glenn. So he's going to be going with all the parcels as well. And the, the, the picture that I drew 
wrong phone. The picture that I drew and sent to Marika in her card was a situation where we basically got chatted up by this guy at the motel that we were staying at in the most stereotypical kind of way. He had his arm up on the wall and he was, like, he was leaning over. He was like, hey, do you girls want to come to the club with me tonight? And we were like, I thank you. And we are uh, just a, one of those memories that you never, those things that you just never forget. So uh, I drew a really terrible version of him and said, do you want to come to the club tonight? <laughs> Bless him. Neighbours. I got the business done. Orders packed. I've just come to Pets at Home because I had to. So many people were telling me about this. <laughs> One for Lola. <laughs> Wonderful D. <laughs> and then I'll get them one of them because I love that. Do we get the microphone as well? No. It squeaks. Look at. Oh my god, this is amazing. Fairy angels. What is it? Lowly. Wow. My little girl girl. My little girl girl. Yay! My girls! Yeah! Thank you for being in my photo shoot, Loli. You want any chicken feet? You want a chicken feet? Good girl. We've got matching now. Is that nice? Is that nice? Hmm? This is the chili in its all its glory. Just a bit of rice, a bit of cheese. Yum. Good morning, it's Wednesday. Wellness workout Wednesday. I've just been boxing and it was really good, but I just ended my session. You know what, I'm not even embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed, it's funny. So at the end of the session, we do loads of sit-ups and then like this thing where you roll on your front and you raise your top half of your body. It's all for your abs and stuff. Obviously, because boxing is like all loads of ab work. It's all about abs, isn't it? Because you've got to move like this. Anyway, I let out a fucking fart, didn't I? When I was doing my sit-ups. I was sitting up. And I was about to roll over on my front. And bear in mind, someone is standing on your feet and then holds your legs down. And I went, ah! I just, it just fell out of my bum and I could instantly smell it. Because I chilled on Connor last night, didn't I? I went, get away! And everyone was looking at me like, what? I went, I farted. And it stinks, and all it's all blokes in there, and they're all just like, What? And then he got the air fresher out and was going like this. But he was like, Do you know what? You're brave for admitting that most people just do it and don't say anything. I was like, Well, I had to because he's right next to my bum, but also, it fucking stinks. So, anyway, I've got an hour to kill before my PT session, so I actually don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. Yeah, yeah, we're done, we're good. My body's gonna hurt tomorrow, I was lifting some weights. Boxing, waiting, yeah. I'm gonna go to my office now, I'm just, I'm not gonna bother going home and getting dressed and doing all that fucking about to then go back out again to clean the office properly. I did do it start a bit yesterday, but I was running out of time because I had to get to the post office before it closed. So I'm gonna just go straight there now. Then it's done and it's set up for me for the new year. I am hungry. Bloody. I don't even know what I fancy. I don't know what I fancy. Breads. Egg mayo. And a Ribena. I've made it in to El Studio. I'm gonna give it a nice good clean and sort out before so just because it's Christmas, it's because it's the Christmas holidays now and we're, we're not going to be back here for a while so I want it to get a nice good clean so it's lovely for when I come back because I'm going to take, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to take 2024 by the balls, horns, I'm just going to continue to live my life but I'm just going to come back to a clean, organised office space, not a shithole. There's always that mentality of like, I'm gonna take next year by the balls, or I'm just gonna do this and just work extra, extra hard. I'm like, I already, 
overexert myself. I don't need to do it anymore. First thing is first, I need to do the washing up. I've done it in a while. To be fair, I've not really eaten anything here in a while, but. I've just left a load of things. We don't have any hot water, like running hot water, which is so shit. I have to boil the kettle every time I want to wash anything up. Because my thingy don't. I should I know what next year. I'll tell you what I will do. I'm going to contact the landlord and be like, this is some hot water. Can't use with bloody, bloody. This coat rack has been in its box in the corner for ages. So I'm going to put it together. Done it! Woo! I've tidied. Everything's nice. I've moved this computer to this packing desk. So it means I can pack orders from here. Oh wow. And um, and it's all nice and do everything. If anyone can log onto this computer. I've got like three orders, I might as well just do them now. Okay, okay, we're good. I'm happy. Everything is tidy. This is all tidy. I just need to close the computer down. Hung my t-shirt folder up. Did a bodge job, but it does the job. Oh, all done. I've just been to the, I'm just at the tip. I've just finished the tip. Taken all the rubbish, all the card, all the rubbish. It's all done. It's all tidy. It's all clean. Ready for a whole new year. I didn't want a pitter today. I've gone with a tiger bread roll. I've not had a shower yet, I'm disgusting. Been very productive day to day. After my lunch, I had a little nap. Then I woke up and did my work and then and then I've just been tidying the house. I haven't had more. I'm not fucking washed. I'm just making some dinner. I'm really excited about today's dinner. So I've got these little roll-out puff pastries. And the idea is to Cover them in Philly, Philly Delphia, and sprinkle some onion on it, like that. And peas, these are just frozen peas. Some up. Dear Santa, can I get some knives, please? Philly on the top. That looks gross, don't it? My hands are clean. I'll garnish it with the dill. So I've got some dill, not put it on last, but that looks like that. I just sprinkled some dill on the top. But there it is. I've served it with some peas. Peas! That was so good. I garnished the dill on the top. God, dill's so good. I've really come to appreciate dill, especially when I've had a few chicken burgers out recently and they've had dill in it. Oh my god, but that was so, I highly recommend that for a lovely, wintry, comforting food, dinner. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a bath now, I'm finally wash, got to wash my hair, sort my life out. So I'm just running a bath, but there's no very bath bomb in here, I'm so done with that scent now. I got too excited about it earlier on in the month and now it's just everywhere. That's because I've got a car refreshing at Snow Fairy and I've got my shower down at Snow Fairy and I've got all my bath shit. All snow fairy. I can't deal with this. I can't. So we've got the dog bed here, right? Which is luxurious and cozy. Yeah, because Lola just cannot be a dog. She thinks she's better than a dog. She just has to be on anything that's not where she's supposed to be. Isn't that right? Yeah. It's a new place for you to hang out with in. Isn't it? Couldn't possibly be in your actual bed, could ya? But you are a queen! So I've had my bath and I've washed my hair and I've been, I want to make something now that has been on my radar for a little while. It just came into my memory again, having this and thinking how nice it was and I really wanna try and make my own. So it's called a London Fog and I had it in Canada. The idea of it to me sounds disgusting because I remember when the waiter at this hotel that we were staying at. He's, he was English. He was like, have you guys tried a, a London fog yet? And I went, no, what's that? He explained it to me and I went, that sounds gross. He says, if you don't like it, I won't make you pay for it. Or whatever he said, and I was like, okay, cool. Anyway, I mean, I could have lied and said it was disgusting, but it was so nice. So the premise is Earl Grey, vanilla syrup, oh, 
chuck some of that in there. One, two, do a bit more. But then, I'm scared, I'm scared. This might turn out awful. It's made with frothed milk. So it's like a cappuccino and an Earl Grey had a baby. I also don't have cow's milk, so I don't know if this is gonna taste the same because I had cow's milk when I had it before. If that was a normal cup of tea, that would be blasphemy. I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. I might need a bit more syrup though. That is delicious. Mm, that is good. I am gonna probably gonna make that more often. I recommend it. Just a little strengthy session. Wonderful. I'm really tired this morning. I've had two coffees, one espresso from home and one in the gym. We did have a late one last night though. We watched Prometheus, but then we paused the film and had a chat. Not like a chat, but like, we were... sometimes that happens. We'll start talking about something. We talk a lot. We talk two talkers. I just pause it, just pause it, and we get we got in a deep conversation, and um, and then and then I, by the time we went to bed, it was quarter to one, and then I was up and the alarm went off at quarter to six. It's five hours. It wasn't Prometheus. It was Covenant. I love the Alien movies, and I know a lot of people slated the the two new ones. But I thought they were they were great. Today I'm having a festive day with Danny, my friend Danny. She's got a day off today, but her kid is still her baby, Sylvie, is still going to nursery, so we're gonna go into the city and be festive. Uh, I'm not meeting her till like midday though, so we'll meet and then we'll go for like some herbs, have a mulled wine, potter around the shops, and then yeah, so um I'm gonna go home and get dressed, edit some of my vlog, film an outfit video, just get some bits done this morning. Did we all have a lovely nap on the sofa together? Yes we did! Yeah! Oh my god, I, don't, I was so tired, I've been so tired. A nap, I, I mean I had my breakfast, started editing, fell asleep, I finished editing and now I've got to get properly ready because I have showered and dressed but just not properly. So I have, I need to ask Danny what, she wants, what bus she wants to get. She hasn't replied to me. I'm ready. I'm out. Me and Danny are meeting at the bus stop. I'm right at bus stop mate. No, it's just really cool. It's being in your 30s and your best mate moves so close to you that you have the same bus stop. Yeah! Mold wine, all the wine. Quite hot though. It is hot, <laughs> isn't it? We have a free cheese pizza, chicken strips, which we've obviously we've already started on, and loads of these fries, which have got like five different types of fries. All the I think fries. It's seven seven, seven yeah. types of fries. So ever since we've had this, like me and Baker came here and had this one. Our like ultimate. Oh, we're gonna have a really comfy like treat night in. We'll be chip medley and we'll either go to the supermarket or like you know the shops where they have the freezers with all the different types of potatoes and you can just do your own bag. Yeah. We'll do that. Do chip medley because you can stick them all in the air fryer. And that is the treat, is just yeah. having more than one different type of potato in the same bar. <laughs> wow. What is that? Here it comes, it's coming round even though it can... What are you? Here it comes. I reckon that's some meringue. kind of stuffed biscuit. It looks like a bit of a little old biscuit. You know. Whoa, whoa. Could be coconut tea. Yeah. Oh, the ice cream here is amazing. We're just having a little look around. A little look around the city. 
Oh, I love this. I'm so glad no one's like, you know, destroyed it. Because it's, it's very cute. Card, like, Hello, Hello. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back in my comfies. What a lovely day. Just mooching around the city, chill, have a couple of drinks, had a spot of lunch. Nowhere really to be. I didn't have to buy anything because I've done all my Christmas shopping. So it was just a little couple of extra little treaty bits and nice things. Nice time with my friend. I'll show you what I am. Um, I did pick up a couple of little things when I was in town. So a new place in town called Slice. Slice on the lanes. They have the pizza part of it, but they also do cookies and brownies and stuff. The one thing that I really love, school style chocolate oaties. So I picked up a couple of them because they were amazing. And then I also went into Bird and Blend. I've had matcha tea before, it was disgusting. It's like powdered green tea. Not a fan of it. I was walking past there the other week with Marika. Oh, I saw Marika. And um, they were giving out samples of mint mince pie matcha oh, I'll go on then and it was gorgeous so I bought a thing today because I remembered about it and a little whisk so similar to the drink that I made last night my London fog with the matcha she, she gave me a demonstration as well and shop how to make it this was very very nice and apparently matcha is supposed to be really really great for your guts and then finally there was a pop-up called Mandy Dell. Right, from a Mandy Dell, right. And most of them, I mean, they've got some prints that everyone en would enjoy. But specifically, anyone from Norfolk or Norwich would absolutely love these prints. I got this for my boyfriend. Um, he is a smoker. Hey, you got a light boy box of matches. He likes his artwork and stuff, but if you're from Norfolk, you'll get it. So I just got back from the gym and what's there on my arrival? <laughs> oh, the best parcel. <laughs> Glenn! I love him. He's gonna go right in the exact spot in my car. Going 2.0. Love you. On errands today. We were just in. I I went for a coffee whilst he went and did some secret stuff. But anyway, the fun can commence because we're going to go do the Christmas food shop. And Waitrose. Oh my god. We've done the Christmas food shop. Waitrose was mad. I'm glad we've done it now and didn't leave it any later. He's loading the car because my Christmas present is in the back. But I can't say it, so I'm just waiting here. And I have my Red Bull that I got. When I was in there and I was crazy mental, I repeated the man the mantra, the mantra, the mantra that my therapist used to say to me. It didn't always work because, like, I didn't get, I wasn't diagnosed with ADHD until, like, halfway through having therapy or something like that. Um, my therapist isn't, like, qualified to make those <sighs> diagnoses. Um, that's why I went to someone else, because he's not, like, but there was a lot of times we were trying to do like meditation and, and, and like calming of the brain and I was like this I, I can't I can't calm I don't know why but then I found out ADHD there is one mantra though that in situations like being in a busy supermarket or like at a festival or at an airport that I use all the time is slow is calm calm is effective because everyone's rushing around they're getting arsy and you can get flustered because you feel like people are rushing you and you don't want to get in anyone's way but that's when mistakes are made that's when you get stressed that's when people start to like get wound up so i always say slow as calm calm as effective and i put myself in this bubble because like i'm in no hurry like the world's not gonna end and if you you're slow and calm i don't know just 
for me it works slow is calm calm is effective it's good to be calm because i'm not calm and i'm not slow so just repeating that and i was walking around there and i was like it's okay there's people rushing around we'll just take our time it's so easy to absorb other people's energy i don't need that i don't need their stress I don't want your stress just because you're stressed. It's like at the airport. You know when you go to, when you're doing security and you're doing your bags, right? I know how to, so it's not a case of I don't know what to do in terms of getting your laptop out and all the bits, right? I'm just doing it in my own time so I do it properly. Not fucking throw loads of stuff around, get all huffy, get all this, all that. So when people are behind me and getting annoyed because I'm taking my time, I'm like, you should have got to the airport earlier. I don't think that's selfish. Like, I'm not being purposefully slow, I'm just not getting, I'm just not rushing and getting flustered and stressed. I'm just taking, I'm just breathing it in, I'm slow, I'm just do, slow, slow as calm, calm as affected, I'm doing it in my own pace, in my own time. Am I conscious of other people behind me? I am, but I also don't want to be rushed by other people. God, we are bad for our bloody cans of stuff. So basically, mm -hmm. nothing's moved since we got into the car. Okay. We're going to be here for a little while. Mm -hmm. That's windy out here though. We're stuck at Waitrose. I hope our ice cream doesn't defrost. Yeah, well. No, 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 no. Well, babe, we're going to be in here for like an hour. No, we're not. Babe, we haven't moved in 10 minutes. I've been stuck in car park, Waitrose car park for 45 minutes. Slow is calm, calm is effective, is all well and good until you go for ice cream fucking defrost. Uh, I've got ice cream, moving mountain burgers, and I put some pastries in it, frozen pastries. Oh my god. So we were in Waitrose car park for over an hour, and I was thinking. I'm gonna get out of the car. I wanna go around and say, look, you let Worm out, he'll let you out. Then they'll let them out, then you'll let them out. And it be in a nice, fair, orderly fashion. Not everyone just trying to aim for the exit. And there was people driving across the car park with those gaps cutting up things. It was bad. Human beings are fuckers. They're just so in it for themselves and selfish sometimes. I had to do some serious cupboard adjusting and things. I We wanted to go to M&S food. Yes, I know how it sounds. Bougie as fuck, but you know, it's Christmas. But obviously we, we had to get home ASAP. So I was like, you know what? At first the plan was, we'll go in the morning, we'll just go back in the morning. First thing in the morning we'll go. I'm like, no, I'm gonna go now. I've had a drink, I've had a few bits of chicken. I'm gonna go now because it means that then it's done. Tomorrow, I can relax. I cannot relax when I know there's stuff to do. I'm gonna go to M&S, get it done. I love that intro, that's the nostalgia here. It's Christmas time. Back in one piece. To be honest, to be honest, M&S was lovely. The traffic wasn't too bad. Um, it wasn't too busy inside, and then, but that, and then, and then there was a Christmas miracle. So cute. Filled my basket of all the little bits that I wanted to get. There was a lady queuing for the till. She had the Christmas Colin caterpillar in her trolley. I mean, I had looked already, and I went to her. Oh, where did you get the Colin from? And she said, Oh, I did click and collect. So she'd obviously ordered it. On, she'd ordered it online, which is what I normally do. She'd ordered it online. Picked him up, was going to pay. I went, oh, okay. And I did my upside down sad face. Sometimes I can't help it. Sometimes it just happens. I, I went, oh, okay. I walked away like that, like. <laughs> it happens, my upside down sad face. My upside down face. I was paying at the little cell scanner. She comes over and she goes, do you want him? And I went, really? And she said, my kids don't know I've bought him, so they won't be missing out. And I was like, oh, really? She went, come over to my till when you're finished and we'll sort it. I went over to her till. She was paying for everything minus Colin. <laughs> he has a jumper. I'm hosting Boxing Day and I thought it would be really cool to have Colin as dessert, so. But we are stocked for Christmas. Everything is done. 
The fridge is mad. And also, the, I mean, the, the fridge is full because it's a food shop for Christmas, for obviously from now up until New Year's Eve, including obviously Christmas and obviously Christmas and Boxing Day in which we are hosting some of my family. So there will be, there's like pie food and everything. So I think what I did pick up, which wasn't on my list, this, because I know, I thought I can just picture my dad being like all over this. Just a little um, selection of like little different sweets all mixed together. I'm gonna have my little, after a, a day that was quite stressful, it's all right, we got this. Cheers. Good morning to my sausage, who I love very much. She joins me when I'm at work. <laughs> it's Saturday, the 23rd, and today is Flangemas Day. We had a very nice chilled evening. I watched Asteroid City, didn't rate it. <laughs> I love a Wes Anderson film. I'm a very big Wes Anderson film person. He's one of my faves, but I just thought Asteroid City was a bit too fucking pretentious for my liking. It was a bit too like, Wes Anderson trying to be Wes Anderson. It was weird, I just didn't get, I just didn't, didn't rate it. Today, I am editing this vlog. I'm doing it day by day, so it means, when I come to upload it, it means I don't have to edit loads in one go, and then I can relax. So I'm just doing it anyway. Which to be fair, I should probably start doing that anyway with the weekly vlogs. Um, but we've just we just had a little bit of breakfast and a, a coffee, haven't we, Lowly? These fucking feet. These feet, they make me die. Look at them. <laughs> I will never get over her feet. Two beans. I don't want to my foot. Anyway, so today's plan is I've done that, so that can go. Um I've Everywhere's tidy, I just need to go around with the hoover and the duster. Give her a nice hoover and dust. And then I'm gonna get ready for today. And just like that, I am ready. Not just like that. It's been about four hours. Ha! She's so orange! Woo! The okay. flanger ears. Okay. All of us are together. Yay! Yay! Continue Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Oh, Go on. Time. Start again. I don't, I'm, I'm not. I'm not away. Like, like, yeah, I'm not doing it. Again. <laughs> Goodbye, all. Bar one. Onward to the next bar. Bar. morning on Christmas Eve I was like why are you not open Boxing Day lol <laughs> it was very very busy I've never seen the boxing club so busy sorry I'm just holding you here because it's very windy and I don't know I'm just cupping the microphone brisk windy dog walk <laughs> you've been fed making some breakfast Woo! we're having these moving mountains plant-based sausage burgers because they are so good. So our own sort of homemade McDonald's. Cheesy omelette thing, which I'm gonna half and quarter. Look at that. We've got an omelette, some little hash browns, and a Moving Mountains burger. I'm not gonna eat till dinner time. So we were going all in. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna eat that. I'm ready. That breakfast was insane. I'm so full. That will keep me going till, well, quite later on, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna have to pop out and get something. Last minute present idea. And then I'm gonna come back, wrap it, and make my Biscoff pastry Christmas trees. I've got three hours.
like little trees. Oh, I'm scared. Oh shit, wish me luck. Not too bad. I mean, I'm scared to lift them, but I'm gonna dust them with some icing sugar so they look Christmassy. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Not done this in a while, so. I haven't baked anything in ages, so it's just gonna work. Ah. Oh shit, oh fuck, that one's just been covered in it. Oh crud, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> Oh god. We're just at mum's. Having a lovely time. And then we're gonna go out for dinner. At a local pub. Which does really great food. Uh -huh. This is the tree. Oh look, is it Sussioj? They see old school. Had them years. Anything else? Oh and these are old school. They're like childhood Christmas decorations. And this one. And the angel. The angel has been in our Are family for. Bag? What? Was that? what? Mm -hmm. oh, you bat. No, it's not mum. Is that my egg though? Yeah. I've asked mum for an egg because there was no eggs in the shop. I just need one because we're having a scrambled egg tomorrow, and I've only got three eggs. Oh. So, um, God, we got through the eggs quickly this week. I don't have to go to the shop in the morning. Like, uh, you know what I mean? I don't want to. Let's borrow an egg. Mom has made a spread and it looks really nice. We are again. I've got time practicing with the air fryer and there's so much sleep. I've not done pieces in there before. Yeah, I've got Twiglets, which are elite. Hmm? What? They take better than they look. Oh, good. We are now home and I'm going to put on the Muppets Christmas Carol because I've been holding out for this for Christmas Eve. Um, so my mother got us matching pyjamas. Chelsea Pierce. See? See? I've got these ones. Leopard. And he's got them as well, but they're shorts. Blo blokey short ones, blokey shorts, whatever. How cool are they though? They're a lovely material. Wow, I like them because they're not Christmas. I wear them all year round. Yeah, I've got a glass of Prosecco, gonna put on Muppet's Christmas Carol. It's gonna be fucking excellent. Merry Christmas, yo ho ho. What should I do? How do I open? The one on the right. That one? This one? Yeah. Open the box. Yeah. <laughs> you did. Oh my god. Yeah. Got the other half of it. Yeah. You did. Oh my god, it's cute. It's small. A seat. So put my bum on. And there's that. That's the rack. Oh, sick! So that's what it all goes on. Oh my god. And then I've got. Oh, a little kick drum pedal. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> got drum kit. I got drum kit, girls. Dee Dee has her Christmas present from Grandma, which is a little Starbucks cup for dogs. <laughs> yeah! I got a drum kit. I've wanted one for years. <laughs> Look at Lily. It's gonna be the Beat Lab. We also got each other Ugg boots or Ugg slippers. <laughs> Because mine were fucked and you just needed some. Needed some nice slippers of our matching PJs, which mum got. <laughs> A 
tiniest bit of yours, like squash. Okay. And then for me, I have the opposite way around. So I have mostly Prosecco and then a <laughs> tiny triple of orange juice. There. There you go. You barely noticed it. You've got a half buck squeeze on Christmas Day morning. Mmm. Christmas to Christmas Day dog walk. In my pajama outfit. Man undercover, but you tore me up. No. No, no. I don't know how many people have this prosecco I've had. 